Hi y'all, welcome, welcome back to this channel. Welcome to my video. I'm Jordan Ray. I have a very busy day ahead of me doing client work, school work. I'll cook dinner later. I hope to go to Common House, social club to pop up and take a phone call with a colleague. We're catching up and then work on a brand guide later this afternoon. That'll be the second part of my day. I want to bring you along to show you, yeah, just the ins and outs of my day. So if you do not know professionally, Outside of YouTube, of course, I'm growing this amazing channel, but I do run my creative agency. I work for myself. My partner is also my co-founder, Rashad. We do a lot of branding and marketing, creative strategy and execution for brands, projects, campaigns, organizations, music artists even. So yeah, that's what I do when I'm not vlogging. And I think that most of my content obviously is around the balance between like work and life. That's why I've had to become so zen and so mellow. So just like got to regulate my stress straight up for about five years now, almost six. And it has its ups and downs. Please believe me. It's about 820. I'm going to go outside for just a little bit, get sunlight in my eyes for maybe 10 minutes. That's all I have this morning because I did sleep in a little bit. Right after I get that vitamin D, I'm going to go to the gym. Let me show you my calendar for the day. Cool. So if you can see this, right now we're in this workout block. I'll have a little bit of a gap of time to do breakfast and get ready. I might put on a little makeup. This yellow section is a call with a client. So is the purple down here. This block of time is for my nutritional therapy practitioner class. So I have that from 11 to 12 30. I'll be working, doing my assignments, like multitasking during that class, like listening to the lecture and actually doing my homework. Down after lunch at two o'clock, I have a catch up with a friend. Erica, this is when I'll be over at Common House ideally. So we'll walk over there, kind of get out of the house, change up our scenery just a little bit. And I'll work from there to complete the client's brand guide that I need to deliver to them on tomorrow. And then later on, I'll cook dinner. We'll go on a walk. Hopefully I even have my walk time blocked out and maybe watch some TV before I go to sleep or do some more work. I don't have no time to waste because my schedule a lot of times when I am really busy and there's a day where I just have calls and projects to finish and schoolwork to do, I need to get down to like 15 minute increments. So I just know realistically what I have time for and what I don't have time for. And anything that doesn't get done today is low key not going to be the end of the world. But then I got to figure out how to do it tomorrow. And I already know I already have stuff that I got to do tomorrow. So it can get real crazy. OK, let's get outside for a little bit. So glad I checked my calendar because I have a call that is at right now 10 30 and I thought it was 11 so I thought I had plenty of time so we're gonna hop over to the desk I'm gonna take the rest of my breakfast and we gonna get on this call I have my NTP class right after this that starts at 11 I don't know why my time be so off I think it's when I start to vlog I just can't 
well that's why i keep a calendar for real all right now they're saying that they can't meet so it's like respectfully because i want to be transparent you just saw how i i knew i had this call i keep my calendar up at all times because like any service provider i always want to be aware of what's coming up and i will literally schedule my whole day around a phone call like whether or not i'm going to be at my desk for that moment or i'm going to fix lunch or maybe i'm going to wait until after the call to do a lunch and so i'll rearrange my whole day off of one or two phone calls and if those calls get rescheduled especially when it's last minute i'm just like bro like i could have i don't know i could have done something else with my day not that i'm upset about the rescheduling the timing of the rescheduling. It looks like we won't have the call, which is fine. That'll give me time to finish breakfast, hopefully take a shower and then get into my coursework and charge this camera. Okay, so I decided to take the first 20, 30 minutes of the call to shower, get myself together so I don't have to do it after the class. The top of the class, it's been going on for four weeks, but I've learned that throughout the top of the class, it's like a lot of housekeeping and announcements. And some of the stuff for me right now is very basic. I think that some of the students in the class are learning how to use the coursework software. It's called Canvas. You might be familiar, just like how to upload assignments, how to export a PDF, like things like that. So I was able to just listen while I was in the shower. I put a little bit of, you know, tinted moisturizer on the face, a little lip gloss. It's called the My Membranes. It's like insulation it's built from some protein lipids. And then at the far right So what's happening now, they're just going over some slideshows. Slideshows? Sounds so weird. Screen presentation. We're talking about neurons. We're talking about the body systems from the cellular level all the way into the organ systems. It's a very high level overview of anatomy and physiology. Next week, we start the basics of nutrition. We'll move to a different textbook. I'm holding my vitamins right here. I need to take these vitamins since I just ate breakfast. So I'm just, you know, like I've tried to learn what sorts of things I can really multitask in and remain present, but still get two or three things done because there will be a time probably with this coursework that I can't multitask. I've taken anatomy and physiology before. I have an associate's in biology. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and I started my master's program in human and health performance. So I have taken and I pro I've probably taken three anatomy courses since I was in high school. I don't have it all memorized. I'm not like super well-versed, but I know enough. I believe I know enough to get me by this course assignment for this week. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna move this Zoom over to my MacBook. I'm sorry, my iMac. This is just another way to, that neurons can be categorized. So we have afferent and efferent. Um, the afferent neurons are the neurons that come into play when uh, comes from our sensory receptors. Uh, coming from them is transmitted by afferent neurons. And they, they carry that signal to our brain, to the immune system, so that it can be processed. The sensory information stimuli, right? We're seeing things, but we're also hearing things. Oh, nice. Today's moving pretty fast, so Rashad and I are going to have a quick internal meeting for reviewing this brand identity that I was sharing. Got to be done, and I am pretty much marking off the weeks that I've already completed here. Just keeping track of my dates and my weeks in the syllabus. Got a long way to go. Okay, this program is going to last one year, and then I'll be able to apply to become board certified in holistic health. All right, let's transition into agency work. I just want you to get your eyes on it. I definitely could have sent it yesterday. I just, it slipped my mind. Either point some stuff out that I, I'm missing, because I think that sometimes you'll have a tendency to think that like, 
I'm saying that this is how it's got to be and I'm not I'm just trying to get the you know the assignment or whatever to completion so if you see anything that you really want to like quickly call out like hey let's adjust this or this should be that cool so I've started to switch this font to We're their yeah that's why it was so important for us to obviously have the client like decide on what they wanted because everything was held up because of this logo um and it took so you know it took us a while to get to clarity with the logo um we'll have you know some explanation here so i'm going to lead with this because i just know that they're pretty much like gung-ho about this so that's fine so this is um an example of how they should be using this logo so this is what we talked about last week with them is like you're going to use this oversized possibly for in most cases the idea here is that you're using this in moments like on social where the logos doesn't appear very big yeah. to make it stand out so colors i go into just the color palette first the next page will be the color codes like the slate color and the eggshell color that's like the primary typography so this is our headliner font that we chose you know jordan i kind of had a brief Recap, we want to make sure, because I know we did. All right, guys, we're ready. We're here. We're ready to accept the info. Standing on business without having a reason, right? So, like, just because uh, a fast example of that would be Rude and Chris don't feel threatened that you want to go to, uh, what's the little fried chicken spot next door? They just ain't like, threatened. Yeah, it was like, a, something like that. Yeah, exactly. It's really definitely a bespoke that. situation, right? So it's not something where we're just like, oh yeah, like we're doing this. We just did this same exact thing yesterday for so and so. This is us taking a lot of different of our agency offerings and combining it in one for your business. So. That way, once we're in an agreement, there's not any like, well, I thought you was gonna do this, mm -hmm. or I thought this was gonna happen. You know, we'll do a lot of that lifting on the front side. Um, and that way, once we do, you know, we're not of the practice of just getting you to sign the bottom line. And then we like figure it out later. We gotta get Day is pretty much wrapped. I'm pretty much spent. I don't realize sometimes I think, oh, I just have like four or five things to do today, but they all take a lot of energy and a lot of effort. So I'm pretty tired. And I think I hit a wall yesterday, which was a Wednesday. Today is a Thursday. And I just need to I just need to sit down for a little bit. So hopefully this evening I can just really relax. When you work for yourself, like it's not it's easier said than done. I have um, two follow-ups to get out to a client that we actually work with starting tomorrow. We have their first workshop call and then another client who we're offboarding pretty soon. We probably are gonna be working with them for like another month, but I need to send them an update, both of them. Oh, um, and yeah, an inquiry follow-up. So what happens is somebody like calls us and they're like, hey, I'd like to set an intro call with you. We allow them to do that for free. We have about a 30 minute conversation. And then I reply back with the offerings that we talked about that's specific to their project so they can get an idea for what they want to do or not and how they want to move forward. And I need to send that email to someone who we talked to yesterday. I tried to do that within 24 or 48 hours. Got my seed, came in the mail. So this is uh, Light Clockwork. And actually they had a promotion for like $20 off. So I made sure I applied that because you could apply that to your subscription, which is really cool. A lot of times those types of incentives are for people who are subscribing, like first time subscribers. But now with Seed, they hooked me up. So this will refill into here when I'm ready. Also clockwork is the Athletic Greens. Nice little packy pack. But like I need a little pick me up before I cook this dinner. So I'm gonna eat a little vegan choco bite. This has no added sugar, no nuts. 
no soy. Yeah, these are so good. High fiber. One cookie is going to give me about, mm, well, two grams of fiber. Yeah, I lied, five grams of fiber. I'm definitely doing something over brown rice. I started to soak it this morning. This will make it a bit easier to digest, a little bit stickier on the texture too. I was only able to soak it for about 10 hours. The first time I did this, I soaked it for 24 and it came out so perfect. So I'm excited to see what we do with like the sticky rice cauliflower thing. I think I'll do maybe like a teriyaki with cocoa aminos. So going no glue in, no soy for a teriyaki glaze. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, help me out. All right, the recipe is gonna call for cocoa aminos, a little sesame oil, a little tiny bit of honey. I got apple cider vinegar, garlic, ginger, top it with sesame seed. So I'm gonna watch Monsters on Netflix, the Menendez brothers, you know, to calm my nerves. And I'll see you whenever I'm, I'm done with the, the dinner situation. When I tell y'all, tired is not the word. I'm crashing out. It has been a hell of a week. A hell of like a last seven days because I really worked over last weekend. Anyways, dinner was so good. It was really good. Okay, it was soy free, gluten free. I wouldn't say it was technically sugar free because I count honey as added sugar. So I put a little honey in the teriyaki mix, but it was amazing. Okay, so what you do is, is you mix the cocoa aminos, which is the replacement for soy sauce. You put a little honey in there. You'll do a little apple cider vinegar. That's what I did anyways. Sesame oil, garlic, minced garlic. I put ginger powder because I did not have, actually I did have fresh ginger root. What was I thinking? Y'all, my camera tripod be crooked and it bothers me. You mix all that together and then I added a little bit of water to some cassava flour to use as like my thickening agent, right? Gluten-free, like the whole thing. And so then you mix that together. You heat it over the stove on like medium heat, but you got to stir it often so it doesn't get weird and like clumpy. Came out so perfect. We're wrapping up. I'm about to shower, just get my, you know, my little makeup off that I put on earlier. Relax. Gonna watch TV in the bedroom, which we rarely do, but we're watching Game of Thrones right now. I'm trying to make my way through the whole, like, whatever, however many seasons. I'm on season five right now. Like, it's good, but I'm kind of ready for it to be over. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm invested. We're gonna do that from the bed and just chill for the rest of the evening. Try to reset before tomorrow because it is Friday. I still have like a whole work day tomorrow. I appreciate you though. Thank you for hanging out with me, you know, balancing student work, client work. It was a pretty realistic, very busy day. Join my fine diet Instagram broadcast channel. If you want to follow me over there as well, I'm a little bit more, I'm getting a little bit more active over there, trying to be, you know, active with my challenges and different things that I'm supporting everyone with as far as nutritional therapy is concerned. And yeah, I want to be over there daily, just dropping a little hint or encouragement here and there. Follow the agency at Red Label on Instagram, YouTube, the whole thing, redlabel.com, you know, whatever. All right. I'll see you next time.